is a reminder that you do not control me. And if you try anything like this again, I will kill you. Can you possibly tell me where you keep your dudes? It would seem that Detective Inspector Sloan has been promoted. This will not help our plans. Listen, Chief, I can crack this case. I can find these missing girls. We don't need to bards in there trying to make that barman talk. Who the hell was your source? Someone I can trust. Chief Inspector Sloan. Can I help you, son? I'm Inspector Shipton. Billy. It, William. Sir, I just transferred to your department. Who are you? I'm Caitlin, and I'm here to help you. And how are you going to help me? I'm going to tell you where Amy is. Tell me where she is, or I'll... Kill me? Sorry, sorry. Just... I've just been looking for her forever. I get it. Don't worry, we'll find her. Together. Then where is she? Can we just talk first? Can we just find Amy and then we can talk? Please, I really need someone I can talk to. Someone who understands what I'm going through. Are you okay? Yay! Where do you want to go? Uh, your place? Um, I don't think that's such a good idea, really. Okay, then I know the perfect place. Golly, my dear. I wasn't expecting you until early next week. The partner thought it was best I met with you earlier. Certainly. Please have a seat. I'm fine standing, thanks. The partners have decided to change strategy. They weren't pleased with the previous project. It was a mistake. A miscalculation with the time scale. It was nothing but a hiccup. A hiccup? Well, that hiccup cost the company millions of pounds. It cost me 25 years of my life. And they appreciate the sacrifices you made for the project. But now they're going another way. And what would that be? All the information you require is in the folder. You can't be serious. Oh, I'm always serious about my work. We'll have time to learn about that now that we're partners. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. Thank you. I'll be in touch. Retrieve the knife. Now! Do you like it? It's a park. It's not just any park. This is my park. Okay, Caitlin. What do I talk about? Well, you really. There really isn't that much to tell. I met a man, he gave me powers. I fight the bad guys. <gasps> yeah, nice blurb, Shakespeare. Okay, fine. You ask the questions. Well, I know I wanted my powers. I had a reason. 
Which was? Hey, this is your story, not mine. Tell me why you wanted your powers. It's a really boring story. Prove it. I had a girlfriend, Lucy. We were together for two years. It's perfect. At least I thought it was perfect. You're late. Sorry, I was held up at work. Again, I've been standing here for half an hour. It's a two year anniversary and you're picking a fight. Really? I'm not picking a fight, you just always give me something to argue about. Your anger issues are going to be the death of us. Listen, let's, let's just forget and go back inside. Have a nice meal and just forget this, okay? I'm sorry, Jason. I just can't be with somebody who's happy with me one minute and then angry with me the next. Do you love me? That's when I knew I had to do something magnificent. After the accident, I had nothing to do but sit in a computer for six weeks. Then I had a message from a man and said he could help. And after I got better, I was desperate. I had to find him. Ames told me that one day when I was ready, he would tell me why I was special, what made me different. But I was scared to even go out. So I stayed in my house, hiding away. That must have been horrible for you. Did you not get bored? Well, the lack of food does kind of push you out the door. Can't let beat me. It was the second time I had a vision. I wanted to scratch my eyes out of the sockets. What did you see? That kid. He just... He's been beat up by thugs. I could hear the sounds of his bone just, just cracking in the edge. Superintendent. Aye, aye, sit down. So, how's it feeling? Any different? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what I mean, Chief. You've been wanting this new job for years. Do you know something? See if Margaret was still in the house with me, I would feel different. But now, I've just got to go on my job, do the best I can. Who knows, Chief? Maybe with a new position, you might win her back. This job destroys relationships, Ian. You know that as well as I do. Good biscuits. Mr. Alexander, a pleasure, sir. Mr. Marshall, thank you for agreeing to meet me here, rather than your employer's place of business. You're more than welcome, sir. We do our very best to accommodate our clients. Please, let's take a seat. Of course. Please let me express the nature of this transaction. Mr. Smythe isn't aware of what we're doing here. If I'm caught, I'll lose my job, my pension, everything. I hope you understand the risk I'm taking here. Mr. Phillips is more than happy to Compensate you, shall we say? There is a significant amount of money in this briefcase. Do you have a deal? Certainly. Most certainly. Excellent. If you'd be so kind, open your box so I can check the contents of as we require. Everything to your satisfaction. This will do. 
just nicely. Thank you. Great. Well, there'll be no paperwork for this. I hope that this won't be a problem. No, none whatsoever. In fact, my boss doesn't like any paper trails whatsoever. I can appreciate that. This is a difficult business we work in. I'm glad you understand. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. It's as if he's completely dropped off the radar. Look, I've, I've checked every source, every file, every recent case. There's no connection to Phillips anywhere. I mean, Slit has just given up. Maybe Jason scared them straight. <laughs> Maybe one new scumbag to hunt down tomorrow. Nah, Chief. Phillips is pure evil. I mean, he's not just going to be sitting in his arse twiddle on his thumbs. Okay. So what do you think we should do? I don't know, you're the boss. I mean, it's your call. Look, I've got a bit more shoulder and a wee bit more flexibility if you like. I'll ask around, see if anybody has any connections to Phillips that we weren't told about last year. I'm sure we'll dig up something. Alright. Look Chief, there's something else i got to Listen, ask Listen, I know you're going to ask. I've already done a background check him. Without a surname, they can't find out about Jason. I just need to know if we can trust them, that's all. Mullen, I really hope we can. They just fell into a bad crowd. But didn't mean learn for this happen. Well, see, if there's something you're not telling me, then I can't help. <sighs> he's working with a group of drug dealers. And they think he's stealing drugs from them. And has he? No. He's a good kid. It's not his fault, Jason. We can just phone the police and let them deal with it. No, we can't. They won't find him in time. We need to go and look for myself. No. It's too dangerous, you'll get hurt. Well, what are we going to do? I'll take care of it. But then you'll get hurt. Well, see, I, I've changed. I, I can't explain, but I can help. Just give me the address of where these guys are, and I'll bring Gary home. If I do this right, you'll bleed to death. Very, very slowly. It's not a pretty sight, pal. I didn't steal your stash, I swear! Go and check that out. John, what's up? John, John, what's up? And what are you supposed to be? Some sort of super freak? You okay, Gary? Who are you? Your sister sent me, I'm here to help. No chance. Not so this wee scumbag pays for the merchandise he took off me. I didn't steal your stash, I swear. Let him go, he didn't take it. Are you going to make me? No. I'm warning you. No chance. I'm not going for a cheap trick like that. Last one. No! Oh! oh. 
I'm really sorry, Jason. Well, she didn't even say anything when I told her. She, she just phoned the police and walked away. I never saw her again. How'd you get the scar? <laughs> well, that's a little... Okay, I wanted to see how my powers worked, so... not funny. I'm sorry. It is kind of stupid though. I mean, who charges a light bulb with their own powers? All right, Caitlin. Let's talk about you. How do you get your powers? Oh, look at the time. I've got to go. That's not fair. I told you everything. That was really nice of you. Right, Ian. I better get back home. I promise the daughter to take it for a bit, okay? Straight to you for it. See you tomorrow, son. You deserve it. I can explain. No. You really can't. He deserves it. You're not presenting the best case for sanity here, Caitlin. You can trust me. I've only just met you. And I came in here and I find you gutting your boyfriend like a fish. And for what? To bring him back again and again? He's not my boyfriend, he's my ex. Oh, motive. Thanks. Please, Jason. You, you can trust me. He's one of the bad guys. And am I a bad guy? You're going to hurt me? I'm keeping the streets safe, just like you. I don't do that! Well, you've killed people. Not like this. This is sick. So, are you going to kill me now? I'm going to give you a choice. 
Leave this city and don't come back. Or what? Or I'll deal with you. Careful, Scott. That's a valuable piece of our jigsaw. I don't think that was easy to come by, Uncle. But wasn't it fun? Actually, it was the best type of fun you could have. It's powerful. Just as the prophecy predicted. I feel like it's coming, all coming together. Did you deal with Sloan? Sloan? He died in Mullen's arms. Excellent. Well done, Scott. Okay. It won't be long now. Not long at all. And, uh, Callie and the bosses? What do you have planned for them? By the time we fulfill the scroll, nobody will be left standing but us. Ah, Katie, my darling. Was the operation a success? Yes, everything went as planned. Then are you ready to try it? I've been assured that enough time has passed. Did it work, sir? Yes, thank you, my darling. Don't thank me. It was Joel who gave me this gift. I'll congratulate Joel on a fine piece of work later. From now, I have to complete my research. Just a few more pieces to go. A war is coming, Jason. Are you on the right side? I'm sorry, but you've got a lot of explaining to do. No, in fact, scratch that. Just go back to your best. I don't even want to hear what you've got to say. You're a detective inspector now, and that means you've got a new inspector to train up. We're assigning you to work with Inspector Billy Shipton. Trust me, he's connected to Phillips, and I'm going to bring him down. Just put the gun down. We can talk about this, okay? I don't have time for talking. She's got enough time to leave on a plane out of this country. I'm not how I used to be. Maybe that's just what we need. Need for what? To steal back Dad's cross. 